Hey, what's going on guys? And welcome back to my channel. This is Blood Phantom 81. Today we're gonna to talk about the major indices such as the NASDAQ and the S&P 500. And I'm also gonna give some price targets for a lot of tech stocks, mostly FANG stocks, but I also wanna talk about a couple other stocks like Nvidia and Microsoft. Um, so yeah, let's jump right into it. So today was a pretty solid day, um, plus 2.31% for the NASDAQ and 1.55% for the S&P 500. Even though I'm still bearish in the stock market, I do think that we're going to get some nice days like today. Um, but overall, I think now is a time to be kind of cautious. And I, I've kind of said the same thing for my videos um, over the last maybe six weeks. So try not to sound repetitive here. Um, you guys know my price target for the S&P 500 is here around maybe 2400 um, For the NASDAQ, it would be something close to this 200 week moving average. So maybe around like 5,600 for the NASDAQ. Um, so yeah, like I said, I remain bearish. Uh, but overall, I think now is the time to kind of have a plan. Um, what are you going to do if the stock market drops another couple hundred points? You know, that's quite significant. From this point, um, I don't know why my computer's lagging, but anyway, from this point to this point, that's quite a bit of ways to drop. And I'm not saying that that's exactly what's gonna happen, but what if this does happen? Like, do you guys have a plan in mind? Are you guys just gonna buy no matter what happens? I mean, that's a pretty good plan already. Um, for those of you that are traders and maybe playing around with Robinhood, I think there's a pretty good opportunity uh, to be made around the corner. And it's definitely something that I'm excited about. Um, but yeah, so overall talking about this plan. So I hear a lot of people talking about getting into defensive stocks. Um, my personal take is that time has already sailed. Like you should always kind of be in defensive stocks, um, whether it's your main portfolio or whatever. Um, but if you take a look at a lot of um, currently defensive stocks, such so as Procter and Gamble, they've already made kind of considerable gains. And so the time to be in defensive stocks would be in times where you would least expect the market volatility. You know, you don't get into these stocks because the market is volatile. Um, you get the you get into the stocks because these. The market may be volatile at some point in the future. Um, overall, however, and I know this might sound kind of intuitive, I think tech stocks are the way to go, and I do think that they're going to outperform the stock market over the next five, ten years. So my strategy right now is to look for discounts in tech. So today I want to give some price targets um, for mostly Fang stocks, but other stocks as well, as I mentioned. Um, this video may get kind of dry because it's going to be looking at charts for the most part, but if you guys can stick through the end of it, um, good for you. But I'm going to give some price targets for where I see a lot of these major tech names going. And it's still kind of, you know, we still kind of have a ways to go. So for Amazon, actually, let me just talk about how I define these parameters for identifying bottoms. So I'm basically going to be taking a look at a few moving averages. The first is the 200 period moving average. So whether that's a daily time frame or a weekly time frame, you're going to find that line in magenta. The second moving average that I want to talk about is either the 100 or 50, which is going to be, um, which I'm going to alternate uh, depending on the type of stock that I'm looking at. Um, and it's just basically, I'm going to use whichever one I find most appropriate in that setting. So anyway, for Amazon, we're clearly below this 200 day moving average. And I think because we saw that we're going to see some more downside. So for Amazon, my price target is here. Um, I want to say around maybe 1350. And that's because it's here at the 100 week moving average. So why am I picking this one and not this one? You know, clearly they're both somewhat important to Amazon, I suppose. When we break below the 100, we usually get to the 200 and find support there. To be honest, I do think that is quite a ways to go, even to the 100 week moving average. And in this time of market volatility, I would expect strength to be found um, in stocks like Amazon. So I do think Amazon is one of the stronger names. So my price target for Amazon is here around 1350. But honestly, anything below 1400 and not going to be an aggressive buyer, most likely. Um, so that's watching what I'm watching out for in Amazon. Let's, next, let's take a look at Netflix, <laughs> uh, kind of a tongue twister. 
So with Netflix, we're already here at the 100 week moving average. Now, do I think we're going to bottom here? No. Why? Because the Nasdaq hasn't bottomed, and this there's no way that the Nas that Netflix has bottomed, but the Nasdaq hasn't. I don't see that as something that's possible. Um, so I do think that Netflix will bottom somewhere around the 200 week moving average. I'm feeling more bearish about Netflix than something like Amazon. So for Netflix, I'm watching out for something around maybe 200. And in some instances, Netflix does retest this 100 week moving average, which is this kind of blue line. Um, but it hardly ever gets to this magenta line. So it's going to be kind of nasty. Um, I do think that there might be some news that comes out about Netflix, which is pretty worrisome. But overall, I think now would be a good time to start a position. But your core position shouldn't be until somewhere that's below maybe, I don't know, 220 or 210. So anything below 220, 210 is, is fine to start adding a lot of shares of. Um, and you guys know where the support level lasts. So if we get somewhere below this, then I'd be kind of cautious, actually. Um, especially considering that we haven't really retested this 200 week moving average um, for a long time. So that's where I'm at with Netflix. One more time, anything around maybe 210 or 220 is a, is a fine place to start adding a lot of shares of. Um, the next thing I want to take a look at is Apple. So a lot of people are citing the news about um, Apple uh, choosing to not disclose their iPhone sales or basically just not be super granular about what's going on under the hood, so to speak, in terms of sales and revenue. I don't think that that's why Apple's selling off. I think Apple would have sold off regardless of what they announced on earnings day. It's just kind of weird that Apple was the only stock that hadn't sold off yet while the rest of the market was selling off. Um, you know, I think it was inevitable. And because of that, I do think that we still have quite a ways to go before Apple bottoms. <laughs> Apple bottoms, it's very funny. Um, so I could see Apple bottoming maybe around like 150, um, which actually isn't that much to go. But like considering how much Apple represents the Nasdaq, which is like I think Apple is like maybe like 14 percent of the Nasdaq um, and probably a big chunk of the S&P 500 as well. Um, so just because of that, I think we're going to feel it a lot more in a sense. Um, but anything around this 0.382 retracement, something like 150, 160, I think is fine to start being kind of aggressive with Apple. And if we break below this magenta line, which currently sits at 140, um, yeah, I think that's that's time to be a little bit more cautious. Next stock I wanna take a look at is Nvidia, which is kind of fun to talk about. Clearly this one's been getting destroyed. So from the high here in 2018, we have lost about 50% of its value. The crazy thing about NVIDIA is like I've been citing this 200 week moving average as a place of support for NVIDIA and a lot of other tech stocks. For NVIDIA, we're, pre we're practically there. So the other thing that sits here is the 0.618 retracement. Um, this retracement is off of the 2009 lows. So I do think it's an ideal place to find support, um, which unfortunately is still quite a ways to go. So that's at least another maybe 16% to go. So I think it's fine to start adding maybe a couple shares of this if you guys have a lot of cash available, um, just do like a starter position. But I think the core position can come maybe somewhere around like 135 or 130 or 125. Just because of how much Nvidia sold off a lot. I don't know how much more it's gonna sell off. But um, yeah, I, I'm excited about Nvidia. I, I'm still pretty bullish on it. Um, and I don't think like it's as terrible as people are making it out to be. Um, so yeah, anything around 130 and I'm a very happy camper. Uh, the next stock I want to take a look at is Google. Um, so Google, we're already finding support here at the 100 moving average. And because of that, um, just like Netflix, I do think we're going to retest this 200 week moving average. So that's going to put us somewhere around maybe like 900. Um, which would make sense. I think there's a lot of stops here at, at around like 1,000. So if these stops get taken out, I could easily see us um, spiraling out of control all the way down to maybe like 900. Weekly RSI would probably be oversold at that point. Um, so another ideal place to bounce. Um, historically, we don't actually retest this 200 week moving average. We usually just um, retest the 100. 
Um, so it might feel kind of nasty, but overall, that's what I'm feeling like is a real possibility, um, especially considering the market hasn't bottomed. Facebook, I think is pretty interesting. So weekly RSI oversold, 200 week moving average support. So Facebook is the only FANG stock which is already showing support at the 200 week moving average, which is the price target for a lot of these other tech stocks. I honestly think now's a fine time to be a buyer of Facebook. Um, core position, maybe, but like it's kind of now or never. Like, I don't know if Facebook's gonna be like a G situation where people thought, you know, to buy the dip, um, but GE obviously had other plans. I hope Facebook doesn't do the same thing, but if we get that much lower below this 200 we average, then yeah, I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna get a little bit worried about Facebook and its validity when we call it a FANG stock. Um, so yeah, stop at 120 I think is fine, but I think now is an interesting time to be a buyer of Facebook. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think something monumental could be in the cards as well. Um, and the last stock I want to take a look at is Microsoft. So Microsoft is actually really, really strong. So you'll note that I've had this 100 and 200 week moving average for most of these other tech stocks. For Microsoft, we're still quite a ways above either of those. And in fact, we're showing support here at the 200 day moving average. So that's something that we can't say for a lot of these other tech stocks. And the interesting thing about Microsoft is it's kind of like a blue chip tech stock. Um, I wonder if this is a place where people are putting their money. Um, and maybe it's kind of like a quote unquote safe haven. But at the same time, I don't believe that Microsoft will be immune to the stock market correction. I do think that we're going to retest this 100 week moving average like we did here in you know 2015 and here again in 2015 and here again in 2016. I think it's fine. I think it won't be the end of the world. Um, I do think that there's going to be a lot of news articles that come out if that does happen. Um, but it's fine um, if it does happen. So overall, 90 is where I would love to be a buyer of Microsoft. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the tech stocks. I covered the FANG stocks plus Microsoft and NVIDIA. Um, hopefully this video wasn't too dry. I try to mix it up. I know that technical analysis is kind of hard to get into if you're not into it already. Um, but, uh, yeah, those are just my price targets. Let me know what you guys are doing. If you guys are just like buying no matter what happens, or if you guys have some very specific targets that you want to watch out for, um, just like me, definitely let me know in the comments below. Uh, but anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys have a great day, a great night and uh, good luck trading.